I'm a nap queen. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog channel and thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. So I have not, ooh, <laughs> way bright there. Um, I have not vlogged much this weekend because uh, Sam's grandfather's memorial was this past weekend. And so he was, he was cremated. And so it was like, there was a scheduling issue. And so we wanted to get everybody into town. And so this was the weekend that we got everybody into town. And so I've just been spending the weekend with family, but I've got to get moving. You know, these blog posts ain't gonna write themselves. The videos ain't gonna film themselves. And this is like the most ill-prepared I've ever felt for a week in my life. I'm not even ready. Like, you can see. So, um, I've gotta sit down, I've gotta move. And what I need to do today, quick tip if you ever have, like, uh, like if you're pressed for time and you, you just wanna make sure you spend your time wisely, sit down and plan out your day like hour by hour so hold on you guys are a little bit bright um like hour by hour sit down and say so it's almost 10 now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say from 10 to 12 i'm gonna work on my blog posts and then from like 12 to you know 12 30 i'm gonna get ready and then from one to four i'm gonna film videos that's kind of how i have to do things whenever i'm pressed for time i have an orthodontist appointment this wednesday and i'm so nervous because i want these things off you guys so bad i'm sorry i'm so like low energy i just it's only 9 45 and i've been up since five Hopefully i want a cup of coffee but I'm really nervous to go because I'm nervous to see what they say about my teeth. I think they've moved pretty quickly. Yes, this is my problem tooth and it's already almost in a place. So I'm kind of hoping that they tell me, you know, when they think I'll get them removed, but we'll see. So I'm actually gonna spend the next like 15 minutes working on cleaning up my office because it's so bad. Like it is so bad. I was working out in it this morning. That's why I got up at five. And you guys, I literally like had to move three things. I tripped in the middle of my workout and ended up falling and then knocking a bunch of stuff over because there's just stuff everywhere. Cause it's like a multi-purpose room. So let's go ahead head back there I'm a nap queen okay so it's been a few hours and everything's really loud because Sam's like doing some laundry right now but I don't know if I even said I was so tired I slept maybe a cumulative two hours last night maybe so I just I was like um charging the battery to this camera and I just looked at Sam I was like I have to nap like I will get nothing done today because I was just like trying to do my blog post and it was not working so <sighs> I took a nap and now I'm like yes let's go um so I'm gonna push you guys back just a smidge so I've gotten some questions about books on my Instagram and like that's something I think you guys have wanted me to share in a blog post in a YouTube video I'm not entirely sure um, but it, it's so hard to determine what is and is not important to put on YouTube like my main channel that is like so hard Filming and editing for my main channel takes so much longer than a vlog um, and, and I make money from there and I don't make money from my vlog channel yet and so What I put up on my main channel. I want it to be Good and I want you guys to like it and so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do a YouTube channel And then I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll write a blog post. I don't read that much um, I actually just got back to kind of reading and then I only listened to like two podcasts And so I was just like, I don't know Well, I've got a blog channel and I told you guys I was gonna start sharing things like the vacuum that you guys were interested in So I was like, why not I just share kind of books? I love on here as well So I will share the two that I have been la Big recently so one of them is faith-based the other one is not so this is the faith-based one 
It is called Embraced by Lisa Turkhurst. And it's 100 Devotions to Know God is Holding You Close. Now, I just started this recently. I'm going to open up and show you one page of this book, but I am not gonna ever dig deep into it or talk about um, what I take from it. Like, obviously I'll share, you know, oh, it was a good page today, like I'll share pieces and parts. But I write in this book and I write things that are between, like I said, me and God. And so I don't want to share like that aspect of the book because I think it's, it's our relationship and my relationship with him may be different than yours. So I'm not gonna be sharing like anything I've read before. These are new because I haven't gotten into it. So this is day 21, the two most powerful words. So every book starts out, it's got a verse at the top and then it's a super easy read. Hold on, I'll show you. Literally, this is it. So then this is the next page. And then it ends with a prayer that you say. And then like, this is day 22. So like everything is like a page and a half. It's very simple. Um, what I love is that she does give you a prayer at uh, a Bible verse at the beginning and then a prayer at the end. And so that's really cool because I think a lot of times it's vice versa. It does the prayer first and then the Bible verse last. And so by the time you get the Bible verse, you're like, okay, yeah, I, I've gotten my message from God, or at least I do that. Um, so it's really, it's cool to have the Bible verse first. So like when I read it, I'll be like, ooh, what are we talking about today? Uh, so I'm on day six. So embraced Lisa Charkers. That's a really good one. You can find it on Amazon. I will leave the link in the description bar below, which reminds me, I actually need to get the link. I don't think I have it yet. So this is this other book that my dad recommended to me. I did share a little bit about it on my Instagram. So it is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So it's not a self-help book. People are like, oh, that's a self-help book. You need a self-help book. That's not what it is. It's like the most amazing thing ever. Basically, it just kind of shows you how people who work hard and, and do good in life how they do that and they do it by cutting out all of these things and examining these things about themselves and something that i loved just straight out of like one of the first chapters of the book was that so he gave the example look at so you're taking you're holding a camera and you have a lens on your camera what? i don't okay so sorry i got distracted there because they were i was having to basically re-put in my password and i was like hey, that's password so Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He talks about how you have a camera and um, you've got a lens on that camera. And that is how you look through life. You're holding the camera, you're looking through this one specific lens into life. But sometimes you don't just need to examine the life that you're looking at through the lens. You need to actually examine the lens itself and see, hey, is this lens right? Is this lens correct? He te teaches you how to like understand other people's perspective and how you feel like this and they feel like that and you're both right and neither of you is wrong because you're both different people and it is amazing. So yeah, I just think that is a really, really good book to read because it really makes you kind of examine how you see things and why. So that's what I really like about it. But that was my two, that was my quick little tidbit that I wanted to put in here. Um, tonight, I so I do have to get off here eventually and actually get to filming uh, my main channel video. I'm only filming one today because I'm doing a deep clean with me later this week. And right now I don't have the time to like stop and deep clean if that makes sense. I'm doing that tomorrow. So um, what you guys probably see next will be just like dinner. This isn't gonna be a super long vlog um, with me and my husband because like I said earlier, we've just been hanging out with family and usually I would have like two, three days worth of vlogs. This week I've only got some days. So um, next thing you definitely see will be dinner. So uh, I have got to get, we actually, it's about to rain. So I might bring you guys along with vlog photos. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm still waking up. Okay. I'm hangry. You film the TV in the background, or is that a is that a bad? Nope, because I'm pretty sure YouTube will detect that that is Parks and Rec creation. But I'm hangry, so we we cook a dinner. 
yeah if you'll just go ahead and get that started i'll cook the meat I gotta go ahead and cut up the. I think we probably, like, I vlog every time we have spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti is life. Alright. Do you have any plans to, like, see your mom in the next day or two? I mean, I don't necessarily have plans, but I probably will. Is there a reason you use this big pan? Just because we're not gonna add stuff, or do you um, just want it to? No, you can spread it out and it cooks a little better, a little evenly. Like, you can. And don't put the other stuff in. Okay. We have onion slices in that thing that you can use though. Yeah, I'll just use that. The onion powder do the slices. What? I got, I got, I got, I got. I'm gonna beat you. Too hungry. I'm doing with you right now. Do any of you like raw mushrooms? We gotta get this to boil. This is the spaghetti we get from Lidl. Their gluten-free spaghetti is actually really good too. A lot of their gluten-free noodles are really good, but these aren't gluten-free. These come from Lidl. And so does this. I feel like we have spaghetti like once a week. We love spaghetti. Gotta add these in in just a minute. There are any left. Put salt in the water to keep the noodles from sticking together. So I don't like cooking clumps. Oh. You like steam them, kind of, and then when you put the you sauce act on. like I have never cooked before. Mm. Was it mm, me? Yummy. So. All right, guys. So we are gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna finish up this vlog here. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. Love you, and I hope that I see you in my next vlog.